Hi friends, welcome back to Learning Points YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about how to export data in CSV format. So here you can see our Laravel application running and I have already created a students table. So this is my database Laravel 8 and in Laravel 8 you have a table that is students. So there are some records and if you go to the students link so you will get the listing of students and for this i am using the student controller and inside the student controller i am calling the student view that is resource view student.blade and here is the listing i am printing so now i want to export this result in csv format there are some well-known packages to export data from Laravel. So here I will use the Matt website Excel packages. So let's install this package in our application. Okay, so just open the terminal and we need to install the Matt website. So composer require and after that the Matt website and then slash and excel okay and just enter this so the mat website is going to install in your application so you can see the person that is 3.1 is using that is the mat website latest version and you can see the composer.json has been updated and it's updating all the dependencies related to mat website so installation process done and we can see the package manifest generated successfully and now we need to configure in our application so just go to the config and inside the config we have app.php so just open it and we need to register excel in this app.php so here we can see the provider array and we need to register our excel in this provider and there is another that is LISS array we will register our provider in LISS array and here we will create a LIS name and using this LIS name we will call from our application so first we need to register our package in provider array so just use mat website and after that slash and then excel and then slash and after that we will use excel service provider and then colon colon and the class so our package is registered in the provider array and now we need to register our package in lss array so just go to the lss array and here i am writing the excel so when we will use in our project we will call using the name excel so here we we'll write the mat website and after that slash excel and slash facets f s c d e s facets and after that excel and then colon colon so class name so our configuration is done and now i need to publish the configuration so very simple so just open the terminal and use php artisan and the vendor colon and we need to publish so we'll write the publish and after that hyphen provider and our path of the provider so we will just copy path from here so that is mat website excel excel service provider so just use it so paste it here okay so just enter this sorry we should not have any space between the equal to and the path so just enter this so here we can see the publishing is complete so, so now we need to publish the application so php artisan serve so here you can see the laravel development server is starting so here 
we can see our application is running now i will create a class to export this in excel to export our result so use php artisan make export suppose my export class name is student export so just use student export and i'm using the model so here you can see i'm using the student model so just go to the model that is student model so just add this path so just app models and after that the class name that is student okay sorry before that we need to mention that is model so use model equal to the path of the model so just enter this so export created successfully so just go to your project directory and refresh so here inside the app we'll get a folder that's the export and inside the export folder we have student export.php so you can see the student export.php and by default here is a function that is a collection which is calling app model student all okay so let's create a method inside this class so suppose i am creating a method that is public function suppose headings okay and after that i will create an array and i will return the column of which i need to export so here i will specify the column name that is the name email so i will print id name and email so just specify this here so this is the id and name and after that the email okay so this will be the heading of our export file so i can write the email scaps and name in scaps i can add the add id and i can add the id so so heading is set and now i need to call the data from this table so just go to the student model and create one function so i will create a static function that is public static function suppose i am providing the name that is get all students okay and taking a variable that is result and i'm calling the db here and i'm calling the table that is my table name is so right here students okay and add the column name that is select so i'll select exactly the same name that is id name and column and email basically this is the column from the database so id name and email the spelling should like exactly same from database and after that the gate okay and i want to get the result in array format so use the two array so using this we will get the all result in array format and query set so after that return results so whatever i have as a result variable i'm just returning okay and here i'm using the db so we need to use the db here and now go to the class file that is student export.php and just modify the collection so here i just deleting this and i am returning collect and after that i am calling the student class student is the model name and after that we will call the model function that is get all students 
okay so inside the collection we're calling the function that means all the record will come into this method and i'm using the headings so we need to use the use mat website after that excel and then the concerns and next the function that is with heading so here we write with headings okay and and just pass the from here so our student export class is ready so, so now we need to create a method in student controller to export in csv so just get one function that is public function export to csv okay and right here return excel and after that download method and i am calling the student export class so here we'll call new student export and when you will download our file so the file name will be the student hyphen csv and the extension is dot csv okay so now just call this function from the web.php so just copy from previous and write our own url that is export csv and provide the method name that is export to csv okay so all are set that is the student model i am getting result from get all students function and it's returning the two array oh sorry that will be two array and this is basically calling from student export function and this method is calling from the student export class so here i have included the student model so here the student model there is a mistake so i'm rectifying it and here i am providing the heading that is the heading and so all are set click on the export csv link so it will call the export to csv function so this is the export to csv function and just go to the browser and just hit the file so when we will so it will download the csv file so we have two options that is open with our editor or save the file so i am opening so when you click on the ok so a new file generated so we can see a csv is exported so now we can understand how to export csv file using laravel if you have any queries please comment in the comment section next day we will come with a new topic please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.